Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Laura and today I wanted to show you guys what the Bay Boys nursery is looking like so far. It's pretty much done. He has everything that he needs. Um, he's going to be sleeping with me for the first few months though in my room. But everything is pretty much done with the help of my lovely niece, Girl Power. We painted it. We changed the whole room pretty much. Um, just me and her. Um, it used to be pink. Kind of like like this pink right here. And purple. Now, well, I'll just show you what it looks like now. So, keep watching. Before we go, just look at this cup real quick. Isn't it so cute? I love Pikachu. Anyway, let's go. Alright guys, so this room right here used to be pink and purple. It used to be my niece's nursery room and she's 16 now so it was time for a painting and upgrading <laughs> but anyway this is the baby's crib I got this from Amazon it was on my baby registry and shout out to my brother and his wife they got it for us a nice crib um, real smooth and it's not expensive um, but it's it's real nice and it's easy to set up I think it took my boyfriend about 40 minutes maybe 30 minutes to set up and um, we got these sheets here uh, these sheets are from Target they were like nine dollars standard crib sheets. Over here we got this dream big little one stickers. Um, I got these from Amazon as well which I would say I got them for a good price because they were $12.99. Uh, I had help putting them on though because there's as you can see there's a lot of stars and uh, it would have took me forever to do this by myself camera's not really trying to focus but I think it's super cute over here he has this light switch which this is actually the light switch from my niece's room but it fits perfectly into the room so I just kept it over here I've got these curtain string lights and I got these from Target as well they are battery operated. We just put a nail and I just use like a command strip sticker to stick it on. Only problem is the switch is on the back side <laughs> where I put the command strip. So in order to turn it on, I have to put a battery, an extra battery in there. So it's off now, so that battery's not in. Let me show you what it looks like when it's on. So this is with the battery inside. Super cute, has different settings. Um, it's away from the baby's crib to prevent like choking hazards or anything like that. So they, I recommend you get something like this. Don't put it say on that wall where the crib is. Over here, we have his Snugga Puppy swing, and he got a little teddy in there. It says, my first, my first teddy, I believe. Oh no, my first bear. His grandma got him that. So, he's so cute. Let me show you how this swing works real quick. So. It has an on button and it has a button to swing and it goes like I don't know I don't really feel like it goes much stronger this is the highest setting it plays music as well 
and just push the button again and turn it off. Some animal little cricket sounds. And this is the mobile. How do you turn the mobile on? And another thing about this swing is it actually takes batteries. It takes D batteries. Four D batteries, in case you're wondering. Um, they go right there. And it has a plug as well. But if you don't have the batteries in there, it doesn't work. So I thought that was kind of strange, but I don't know. I guess it helps save them. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure why it has both, but it does. Okay. Um, got this mirror here from Walmart, really cheap, and uh, bought these little hanging things from Walmart as well. It has a diaper genie. Um, these things are actually pretty interesting, if you ask me. Um, what I want to say about these diaper genies is that I got one, and because my sister had one, and she had her baby, and I remember hers having like this thing on top where you can like turn it, and you know you put the diaper in there, and then when you're done, you just turn it, and it like kind of cut off, not cut off, but separate the diaper from another diaper. If you will. This one doesn't have that. And these little uh, refill things are expensive. Kind of wish I knew that before buying the diaper jeans. Okay, moving on. So, over here we have his lotions, his soap, and this basket right here. I actually got this basket from the thrift store and it was just a regular basket. It wasn't painted or anything. I took it home, washed it with soap and water in the backyard with a brush, washed it, scrubbed it really good, let it dry in the sun, and then I painted it white. So if you're looking for a cute basket, I recommend going to the thrift store because they have so many baskets there. They're just kind of dirty and just have to clean it and um, paint it. Okay. These curtains, by the way, are from Marshalls. They were like 30 bucks. And you get curtains for two windows. This right here I got from Target and it was $35. I uh, didn't want to spend money on a new, another dresser. I like how I can just put it on the side of the changing table. And these containers are from Target as well. And they were on sale for $4. And you don't have to get one for each um, drawer. But I, I kind of like how it looks. kind of don't want to see things out in the open. I feel like it just looks more organized when you have everything tucked away and this is the changing table I got this changing table here from Wayfair sorry about the camera guys it's ooh, this is not really want to focus today um yeah this basket over here was gifted to me and it has all his little wipes from his baby shower in there for now. This is the changing table and it still has the plastic on it. Because we haven't had, well, baby's not here yet. Um, over here we have another one of those shelf things. And I just put all his little, his little uh, travel size in here. And he got swipeys here, his little booties, and I got this cart from Target as well. I'm pretty sure you have seen this cart <laughs> in a million 
videos. But I just want to, what I want to say about it is that um, I got it from Target and it's really easy to set up. You literally just take the top and the bottom part, stick them together, um, and then it comes with some screws. You see that screw right there? You just screw those on to, to this, and then you take the wheels and you put them on. It's so simple. Anybody can do it, and it's inexpensive. And you can paint it. If you don't like white, um, they have blue, a dark blue, and they had a gray as well. Kind of like that gray. Kind of like my nails. But I opted for white. And that's what it looks like. I got his wifey's sword, his size one diapers, and that's what I got there. I got this rug from Walmart. I want to say it was like 40 something dollars. I think it was like 45. I think, I think it was like 45 dollars. Just wanted something to match the room. He has his cross that's been blessed already. Got that from grandma. And over here I have his name in a frame. These are actually dollar store frames and the photos I got from the internet and I uh, I changed the filter on these pictures and I did that in the app. I think it's called Varnished. The Varnished app, I changed the um, filter to drawing or I think it's drawing or cartoon but I think it's drawing and then from there I saved it and then I opened it in another app, Canva. And with the Canva app, I just added his name and this little star design and also added borders to these. But as you can see, the it's kind of out of frame. <laughs> But I still, I went with it anyway. So yeah, you can make your own portrait um, decorations for your baby with, if you have a printer at home and you have a phone and you go to the dollar store and just get some frames. Although I will say the dollar store frames, just be gentle with those because they tend to get damaged easily. But it's a good DIY. If you want to put your baby, baby's name on some decorations. All right, so let me show you what he has in his drawer over here. Okay, so this drawer here, he has his little duckies and he has these little, um, these are all like changing pads. And uh, I got this one from the registry. Uh, gift uh, gift box. I, I was gifted this one, and this one was from my baby registry. Okay, second drawer. I just have these wipes here. Um, you have the breast pump wipes and his boogie wipes. And I don't think I have anything down here. Just batteries. And uh, let's go to the other one. Over here, he has a buttload of towels. He's got like, you see he has a few towels right there. And down here, he has mostly um, washcloths. And here he has just an extra crib sheet and over here he has his like baby hygiene stuff, his comb and everything. This is from Amazon, um, baby, reg baby registry. 
His grandma got him that. He has some Q-tips. All his little socks. They're just right there. And over here he has some Arm & Hammer bags. I got his grape water. Some multi-purpose ointment. Some Tylenol. Some saline spray. Um, we got him some booty cream. More booty cream. <laughs> some chest scrub. This is like, um, this is my first time actually um, seeing the, well, I bought it, but it's kind of like my, when I bought it, it was the first time I saw it. It's an all natural chest rub with eucalyptus, lavender, and chamomile, which I thought was great. Um, more rash cream, some petroleum jelly, and that's what's in his first drawer. Real simple, if you ask me. Oh, these dividers here are from Ross. They were really inexpensive. They were like $4 each. So, this is one, and this is one. I just have a bunch of his clothes folded up here. His hats, and his little booties. And this is like a sack. And this is from Amazon as well. So you just put the baby in there. And this looks like kind of cluttery, but it's really not. It's just folded in, in there. There's no dividers. And don't really need them. So he got his little pants there, his shorts, and sleepers. And he only has clothes, pretty much all his clothes is like zero to three months at the moment. He doesn't have like four to eight or anything like that, you know. So he just has what he needs right now. And when he gets to that point, we'll get him more stuff. Over here, I just got his little hamper in his tub. And yeah, guys, real simple. I almost forgot he has a little decoration here and he has his little elephant and his monkey and that's that's it real simple just paint your baby's room a nice color put on some nice curtains get you a nice rug um, if you want Get you a swing, put a little decal on the wall, make your own decorations, and you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas on how to keep, have a nice little nursery while also keeping it simple. Are you happy? Why are you still in your pajamas? It's 12 p.m. Get a job. And what are you doing still sleeping at 12 p.m.? Oh, me? Oh, no, not you. <laughs> I'm talking to Kiki. Oh. So yeah, guys, that was my nursery tour. Real simple. Um, I don't think that I have a lot of stuff in there. Um, I feel like I have just everything that he needs. And um, like I said, he's gonna be sleeping with me for the first three to six months. And um, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do updated um, nursery tour in the future. Cause I know things are gonna change. Um, also, I'm gonna do a bedside nursery tour as well. Because, like I said, he's gonna be sleeping with me, and I want to see—I want you guys to see how I have that set up for him when he gets here. I'm still waiting on a few things, so that's why I'm waiting.
waiting on that. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening and enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.